All right, folks. Little video for everybody. Got this today. Came in the mail. The Tusk small camp chair. This one is $35. Look, it's upside down. Why didn't somebody tell me? $35.88. I'm doing this on the GoPro. That's why I couldn't see it on the screen. I'm 50 years old. That was too far away for me to read it upside down. Uh, now, I got this one. They give you weight rating for small and large. And I weigh 210. I'm five foot ten, so of course I went with the small one. That's what it said to do. So it comes in this little pouch. You got loop on this end, loop on this end, then there are various loops sewn in along this bottom edge here, because tusk is written that way. And of course you have a zipper. Unzip it and see what's inside. Okay, there's your pouch, okay, of course this, if you see this thing right here running around, trying to take stuff, that's Scout, the English Pointer, 14 weeks old, awesome dog, but a real pain in the tuchus. Okay, so, let's unwrap this, <clears throat> there's your leg and back, and here is your nylon and netting for your chair section to hold your bum and uh, there's also a cup holder sewn to the side of it and there goes the packing material with the dog it's got a velcro strap on it basically looks like a uh, stainless steel uh, type setup Open this up. Take this all off, and you can just see it's on these little bungee cords, and they're all connected. It pops in the hole, pops in the hole, and of course, these are the legs. They have this rubber end on them right here. So that's your four legs. Scout. And then, of course, <coughs> This is for the, the back, the part of the chair that you lean on. It is two separate ones. You unfold them, pop them in like that, pop it in, and pop it in. And, of course, now it's set up like this right here. Basically a little lounge chair. The web section here that you sit in has these little pockets, a little loop here, and little pockets on four corners. So they don't give you any instructions with it, so you just kind of figure it out quick on yourself. So I'm going to slide the pocket over the top pole here. Now I'm going to go ahead and go down on the bottom pole. There, swing it up. I'm going to use that loop to pull on it and get it up over this leg. It's pretty tight. It's definitely a snug fit. You got to do a little pushing and pulling and get it up in the. Like this is the last one here. You can kind of see how far away that is, and you got to push on the on the back support and pull that up over. It's a very snug fit and it's in and Bob's your uncle, as they say. Now, I'll try to move back here. And I'm on this GoPro, so it's tough. I hope you can see this chair right here. So if I sit in it, right like this, right there, Scout, this is the dog right here. Shouldn't be in the video. For some reason, he got in the door and he's chilling with me right here. But uh, oh, but it picked up a bolt for me that he was going to eat and swallow. Thank you, Scout. I'll put that in my pocket. But the chair is very, I mean, it's tight on my sides. I mean, like I said, I'm 210, uh, but very comfortable.
reasonable as far as chilling in the chair, leaning back. Uh, you do get a little bit of wobble side to side. I mean, it's not super sturdy, but it is more sturdy than I would have expected it. And of course, you have this little pocket here. Uh, it seems to me if you put a drink in, it's probably going to tilt over. So you want to at least have a bottle of beer or maybe a uh, bottle of pop. I don't know about a cup. It would probably lean over and possibly run out. But uh, overall, it's a... Uh, Scout, get out of the trash can. Oh, right there, dogs. I love them, but they're a freaking pain. So now... What I'm going to do, well, first I'm going to get this away from the dog, and we'll just do a quick breakdown now. Of course, I'll pull this up, off, up and off, slide it off the bottom, right there, like that. Okay, we have this, and what I will do is get these all popped out. Fold them in towards the center, just like that. Do that with everything. Meanwhile, the dog is shredding another paper towel that he got, which he loves to do, and spread all over the house or wherever he may be. Okay, so I got that down like that. Whoa. Okay, I'm back. It wasn't a scammer. Now, you can't see the floor here, I don't think, but it's it's pretty much covered with paper towels from the pup here, shredding them all over the place and getting them out of the garbage can. But, uh, yeah, right when I come back from being interrupted there from the phone call, you take this. I finally got these kind of situated where you can get your Velcro strap back around. And then I'm going to wrap it up. It was wrapped up in this seat webbing. Trying to do this where you can see they gotta get so far away from the GoPro. Okay, now the trick is to see if we can get it back in the bag and zipped up. Now, one thing I do want to show everybody is this is the tusk pannier. This is one of the small ones, or maybe they call it a medium, I'm not sure, but it's not the large. And this will fit right in that if you would so choose to carry it in those. Uh, I'm not sure what the width of these are. They, they'll probably, I'm sure they tell you on the website. Uh, you having a good time there, Scout, ripping everything up? I thought maybe I had a tape measure, but I do not. But anyhow, they fit in the small panniers if you would choose to carry it that way. So, hope that helps you out. Be very quick to get out and set up. Uh, it's sturdy, pretty sturdy for me for 210 pounds. I don't feel like I'm going to fall or it's going to go crash into the ground when I sit in it. So, uh... Check it out. Some of you guys probably already use these, I'm sure, but uh, I'll make use out of it, and I think it's going to work out pretty good. Like, subscribe, get on your bike, get outside. See you, everybody.